California, the former Olympian, reality TV star, and transgender activist has filed the initial paperwork amid a likely recall election of Democratic Governor Gavin Newsom. Let's go to NBC Scott Cohn, who's standing by for us in San Francisco, with the question, what are folks saying about Caitlyn's candidacy? Well, Alex, we know who's not saying anything so far. Uh, Caitlyn Jenner's daughters, uh, uh, Kylie and Kendall, both have not had any comment. Neither has ex-wife Kris uh, Jenner or any of the Kardashians. Uh, but there are other indications that the idea of a governor, Caitlyn Jenner, is not exactly taking off. Remember, she is... Uh, presenting herself as a compassionate disruptor, in her words. And uh, one of the things that she thinks she can disrupt is some of the traditional political calculus here in California, running as a uh, socially liberal fiscal conservative. Well, that, at least in the early going, appears to have landed with a bit of a thud. Equality California is the state's largest LGBTQ advocacy group. They tweeted uh, right away yesterday, uh, make no mistake, we can't wait to elect a trans governor of California. But uh, Caitlyn Jenner spent years telling the LGBTQ plus community to trust Donald Trump. They say they will take a hard pass. And that may be the least of, uh, of Caitlyn Jenner's worries. She broke with President Trump back in 2018. But there's also just the issue of the demographics in this state. It is deeper and deeper blue every year. And experts point to the, the recall campaign and the signatures that have come disproportionately from Republican pockets in the state. Think Fresno, San Diego, Orange County. They say that as a Republican, Caitlyn Jenner does not have the math on her side.